Hi, my name is Ima Goad from ECBC. I work in the CB Systems Integration Team in the Physics and Computational Science Division. Today I'm going to talk to you about the TAC Bio Detector, which is right here. The TAC Bio Detector is a biological detector. It's a trigger and it's based off of biological fluorescence technology. Historically, lasers have been used for biological detection. However, when a few years ago, the DARPA organization came up with a program called SUVOS. The SUVOS program was making LEDs in the UV um, wavelength. So we were tasked to make a biological detector using the UV LEDs and to make it for as, as cheaply as possible. So therefore, we used the UV LEDs and we made lenses that were injection molded. These are plastic parts that are only about seven to ten dollars a piece. And we're able to use them to collimate the light from the UV LED. And then also filter them through and make a front end assembly such as this. This front end assembly can be used in any of our detectors. And it goes into our detector such as this and then we are able to take it from one detector to another. Now the principle of operation is that we use that light source to sample the air that comes through the detector through this inlet right here and then it comes into a collection optics chamber where it's interrogated. Once it goes into the collection optics chamber the light fluoresces the particle and then that light is deflected into these photomultiplier tubes. This, this light here will detect our fluorescence and our elastic scattering. And the data that we get from the photomultiplier tubes, we are able to use in our algorithm to determine whether or not it's a biological agent or if it's, say, pollen or germ, simply an interference. This that I'm holding right here is the actual detector. It's full size, it weighs about 1.3 pounds, but we do know how to make this for actually three quarters of a pound and will be much, much lighter. The, one of the main things that we did to do that is we had diamond machine mirrors for the collection chamber, but our own facility here, ADM at, in engineering, was able to injection mold mirrors out of, out of Lexan either white or black, and then we're able to get them coated with aluminum. And this actually has the same comparable um, quality as far as um, the diamond machine ones. So we were able to get comparable results. We also, because it's so small, are able to put it in different packages. So for example, this is an SLA mock-up of all the current parts that would fit. So this detector that we showed you before is one that we made for the Marines that is slightly more rugged, but we could also fit it into something as small as, say, this, this bag. Or we could even position it into something as small as something that would now look a little bit more wearable. Currently, the TAC Bio Detector program um, has concluded. We have five patents on the detector, and they are currently being licensed by two industry partners. And we have detectors that are out and uh, that are being purchased by other countries. And also, we have another company that is interested or who is making them and will be, will be putting their prototype through testing this year and should be out uh, marketing within the next year.